ideas welcome and namaste today we have the privilege of speaking with someone who has not only conquered one of the toughest competitive exams in india that is the gate exam but he has also done so with an impressive rank and he is mr rajeshi nath benerji all india 13th rank in electrical engineering gate 2025 he did it with the help of the best coaching institutes in this country that is ace engineering academy one of the most trusted names for gate preparation running since 1995 so uh, hi uh, rajesh shri how are you doing fine sir yeah wonderful dear and uh, first of all congratulations for a great success in gate 2025 so getting a uh, you know you. all india 13th rank is not a small joke i understand this really shows you know how much back test how much hard work you have done in your preparation so uh, i appeal for you to introduce yourself first then uh, please guide us guide the students who are you know preparing for gate 2026 okay first can you briefly introduce yourself dear so i am rajeshinath banerji i am from kolkata uh, i have done my btech in electrical engineering from mm-hmm. iiest shipur which is a centrally funded technical institution in electrical engineering Good. i passed out in 2018 and uh, after that i have uh, worked in various profiles uh, including first i worked in jsw in mumbai after that i have uh, been into teaching in gate and je both and uh, at present i am working in bali corporation dvc uh, which is a statutory body which i got through my gate 23 rank uh, no. so i'm working there no. and i'm working there for uh, almost 1.25 years as we speak wonderful okay so that is excellent year excellent then um, actually did you have any specific career goal to go for the gate exam any like psu or any higher studies because already you are working in standard organizations actually this was my eighth attempt in gate and if you ah. proper attempts where where i have prepared properly then it would be my sixth in electrical engineering uh, so uh, you will find many toppers once they have secured a psu they have other objectives in mind some want the psu which is closer to their home some have some specific fascination for a particular psu mm. for me uh, preparing for uh, psu was a secondary option actually i mainly i was mainly preparing for esc engineering services examination okay uh, i thought that since i am preparing for esc uh, just let me give for one last time because after this year i will be exhausting my age limit for psus as well so okay. uh, just just try let me try once again and see that uh, what happens i did not uh, b- whatever result i got uh, this year this was uh, purely based on my efforts uh, from gate uh, till get 23 to be very honest in get 24 and get 25 i did not uh, study much for get at all uh, but uh, this was my best rank so far actually from get 2020 to 25 last six times in electrical engineering every time i have gotten under 500 in get and uh, this was my best rank so far i have also gotten under 500 two times in get instrumentation as well wonderful dear this is superb superb so you have a lot of experience in the subjects in the gate exam what i understand and uh, our best wishes for your engineering services because as i understand upsc is your prime motive right yes, so, I, have, i was preparing for this even before relevance had come out so i was okay. preparing for esc long before even people uh, was were hyped out about it due to the return of relevance wonderful so wonderful esc dear. was my primary goal from uh, the first time so i thought let me give gate alongside it Oh, super! So, no super! Good. Then, uh, uh, actually, what motivated you to uh, choose Ace Academy for gate preparation, dear? Well, uh, this was before gate twenty three. Uh, before gate twenty three, uh, I saw that uh, there was uh, offers going on for revision course uh, for gates. I got uh, actually. I am. I have been taking Ace. test series uh, at least four to five times this year i did not purchase anything but uh, till gate 24 i have used a test series at least four five times so uh, i got an advertisement in my email that uh, that uh, some good offer was going on for ace revision course uh, before gate 23 and it was quite affordable at that time for the last three months since i opted for it to see that uh, it's not very expensive let's see what happens uh, and uh, 
it uh, helped me i won't say i used it the pdfs mostly to prepare uh, myself at that time year 23 i had gotten 124 rank at that time which was this is my second best rank till now okay wonderful wonderful so how the test series of his academy questions level and everything is it helpful for your preparation dear interface is the best among uh, test mm -hmm. series i would say i would have to place the interface the interface Correct, is the super. best one and uh, questions they were decent uh, now i won't say that any test series is exactly uh, matching gate but uh, it the practice the analysis definitely helped me and uh, actually uh, post 2022 i have never I have been only giving full length mock tests so uh, not, nothing else i haven't given any part or last time i gave a part or subject test was before year 21 after that, uh, I have only given only full length mock tests. My goal was to have two two test test, uh, test series overall, and uh, uh, if I combine them, I would be having around 30 40 mock tests, full length mock tests overall. I would start from September and uh, till January. So uh, two mock tests per week. That would that was my strategy. So that is what I did. I used test test series in that. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful. So in this greatest journey you have in the gate preparation since uh, uh, many years, you have any study plan? Did you follow any strict study plan that uh, to get this uh, wonderful result? Actually, I have to start from 2019 onwards. 2018, I was in my final year and at that time, I was a uh, cat aspirant. Uh, but uh, due to financial issues of my family, uh, higher studies uh, not, did not become possible for me anymore. So I had to give up on CAT despite having a good percentile over there. So then I started preparing GATE for 2019. But in 2019, I was uh, posted in, my, in the job that I got through my college placements. So I, that job was not good. I left it. So uh, when I left that job, uh, so uh, I had only three months left for GATE. And uh, till that point of time, out of the 12 subjects for electrical engineering, uh, I would say 13 because at that time microprocessor used to be asked, which is not asked now. So at that time we had 13 subjects. So out of the 13 subjects, I had uh, seven, eight subjects prepared. I was able to do one, two, uh, two, three more subjects in the remaining three months. I appeared, but year 2019 was the easiest paper in the history of GATE. Uh, I got 70 marks uh, that uh, I got 70 marks uh, mm -hmm. that year. And this year I got 70.33, which is only 0.33 more. This year I got 13 rank. That year I got 3000 rank. Oh having, my God. My God. Okay. Uh, that, that same, having that same uh, equal marks. Right. Uh, there were around 70, 80 people who had crossed 90 plus uh, that year. Uh, okay. I realized that uh, that, uh, that year that if easy paper comes, then uh, you should not leave any syllabus, uh, even the slightest part of it. So for 2020, I planned, I gave everything. 2020, I gave, I, I got uh, 396 rank uh, that time uh, in 2020. After that, every time I got 500. But in 2020, paper was quite controversial in electrical. There were seven mm. questions or eight questions which either had controversy or were MTA. I don't exactly right. remember. Due to which my marks suffered a lot. Otherwise, in 2020 itself, I was uh, assured of top 100 that time. My question was very good. Okay. But, we had COVID plus uh, various other issues due to which very less PSUs came out. So uh, I could not uh, get uh, desired PSU. Due to family issues, I could not go south. So I did not appear for PSUs that were south because I could not, uh, I had specific intention that this, these are a particular set of PSU I have to apply for. Now, 21 and 22, uh, due to COVID, my preparation was uh, decent, but it suffered. My rank was uh, under 500, but it was below my year 2020 rank. Hey. So uh, after, that, after that, in year 2023, I got uh, 123 rank in electrical and uh, okay. around two, 204 or 5 rank in instrumentation. Instrumentation, okay. Yeah, because uh, there are very less PSUs. People are not aware of this, but there are some PSUs. Nelco is one of them which allows you to apply for instrumentation posts having electrical BTEC degree. Not, not all PSUs uh, allow that. Most people think that uh, having a second gate paper is only advantageous for uh, uh, MTech opportunities, but there are a handful of two, three PSUs if you are aware Correct. and if you are having some specific targets. Correct. Uh, 80 PSUs, I think. 
18 PS use yeah. uh, for instrumentation students. 18 PS use are accepting gate. Yeah, but uh, for that you need to have B Tech in instrumentation. Yes, I'm correct. I'm telling that I'm telling that uh, there electrical are electrical background. Mm. Yeah, you can have electrical B Tech. Right. That's instrumentation gate score. You can allow yes, allow for that. And I'm since, since I'm from West Bengal, I correct. targeted Nalco at that time because it is in Odisha nearer to my home state. So that would national aluminium. Okay. 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 So, uh, if somebody is having triple E background, electrical and electronics uh, background, mine is mm. double E. They will mm. have lots of options in electronics and instrumentation PSUs as well. They right. need to be aware of that. People are not aware right. of this, so that is why right. I appeared for instrumentation as well. After Gate 23, uh, once I already had landed a PSU job, uh, uh, I have already been selected in a PSU where I'm working right now. I stopped okay. appearing for instrumentation. I only appeared for electrical. Right. And then in gate 23, gate 23, uh, paper was very tough for electrical. Mm. So uh, gate 23, uh, excepting my gate 29, 18 rank, I got only 49 marks. But uh, I got 124 rank at that time because paper was extremely tough in both 23 and 24. So uh, that uh, gave me a PSU that I desired. Uh, uh, I'm from West Bengal and where I'm working right now is in West Bengal only. Okay. So I got I got what I desired. So after that, I uh, when I joined uh, this particular PSU, uh, that was around uh, two weeks after Gate 24. So uh, after that, I did not appear for any other branch in uh, Gate except Electrical. After that, I thought that I would be preparing for uh, ESC only. And uh, since uh, if you, uh, you are preparing for ESC, Gate gets covered automatically. So uh, why not give it? And uh, anyway, after 25, since I'm from general category, I will be uh, out of the age limit of every PSU. So uh, there's no point. I, there is no point giving gate from 26 onwards. So let me just give it. I was completely stress-free this year. So that contributed to uh, good rank that time. Despite if I tell for gate in 25, I did not appear for a single test series or a single question did I practice. I only revised formulae and uh, my full notes. Uh, in the last two weeks, that was the only thing that I did for Gate. And uh, my strategy was uh, nothing special uh, in Gate. The most difficult portion is retention. There's a lot of syllabus that you need to retain. So my uh, strategy was from your full notes, you need to revise every subject at least once uh, per month. Preferably weak subjects uh, formula you should revise. Uh, once every week, the formula of your weak subjects. For me, my weak areas were only analog electronics and digital electronics. So those I ensured I revised every two weeks. Right. That's all. And uh, apart from that, uh, this year, I was practicing test series for ESC. Uh, that practice I did. And uh, uh, that was everything that I did this year. Nothing specific for gate. Any specific thing if you want to ask, if I remember, I will let you know. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. So you prepared any short notes for this preparation? Both full and short notes. Okay. Okay. Superb. Superb. So this is a very good motivation, uh, you know, for all the people who are preparing for next year's and for the year's year. And uh, while preparing short notes, a small question I want to ask you. While preparing short notes, what strategies you have followed to prepare a particular short notes? For example, you are the student of Triple E. You may not have any idea about analog electronics. You, you may not concentrate more on analog electronics. How did you prepare your short notes in that specular subject? Just uh, analog, electronics, analog, ele analog electronics, uh, I did not prepare short notes because it is not very theoretically vast for electrical. Okay. Short notes hmm. I have prepared for subjects where there are lots of formula. For electrical, if I keep in mind, now mathematics and aptitude is common for everyone. There is a lot of formula in that. Right. Uh, EMFT, EMFT, measurement, our core subject, power electronics, Mm. Then EMFT, signals mm. and systems, control mm. systems. Mm. These subjects have lots of formulas and short tricks, so right. which are used for numericals. Over there, I prepared short notes only. Now okay. for a subject like net for a subject like network theory or machines, there's mm. no point preparing short notes because you need to know the entire concept and revise from full notes only. But my full notes was uh, uh, very much uh, com compact. Like uh, over there, I only put whatever was required for. Uh, Gate. I okay. did not put uh, the if I say the description of a machine, I did okay. not write the description of a machine in detail. In mm. power electronics, I did not mention every step of the integration in detail. I only mm. mentioned the limits of the. I only wrote the limits and the final result. 
वॉट एवर विल बी रिक्वायर्ड इन द एग्जाम सो दैट वॉज हाउ आई प्रिपेयर नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रेफर माई फुल नोट आई हैव पी डी एफ एंड अदर बुक्स विथ मी आई कैन डू दैट एनी टाइम सो इन माई नोट्स आई ओनली पुट वॉट वॉज एसेंशियल टू बी रिवाइज एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ द एग्जाम एंड इन द लास्ट सेवन टेन डेज आई शुड बी एबल टू रिवाइज द एंटायरिटी ऑफ इट फॉर द ऑल सब्जेक्ट एग्जॉस्टिवली so uh, in fact uh, i planned for 7 10 days but in the end i could manage to revise the entire syllabus from my notes in last 3 days or 4 days only okay super rajeshi super this is a very high uh, you know experience what i understand uh, from for your preparation of gate examination and uh, a very very best wishes for your wonderful career from the entire uh, ace engineering academy team members we always uh, wish you a great success in your career and uh, thank you so much for the great motivational words what you have uh, given to all the people who are preparing for the complete exams like gate and engineering services a very best wishes for your future thank you so much dear thank you so much thank you